Hi everyone and welcome back. So after doing a baselining uh, code of Udemy.com or Airbnb.com because I'm going to create some videos which are common for both Airbnb and Udemy because they are common for the architecture standpoint and I'm using same common architecture the except the services will be different uh, for Airbnb and Udemy clone. So I'm going to use some videos common for both the playlist so what we are talking about is a simplified architecture here we are using uh, the next CS and we are using next auth for the authentication so this next auth is really popular library for managing the session for the next GS SSR okay and we have already decided that uh, we are going to use uh, auth0 I mean you can just use a credential provider also and do the authentication by username password but we already have delegated this user management stuff to Auth0. Auth0 is actually a third party provider that will give us uh, the session because we are going to plug the Auth0, uh, Auth0 mechanism with the next auth and next auth understand how to enable the authentication by taking user login screen to the Auth0 and allowing him to enter the username password because the user already created on Auth0 so it will create a session and here is our Next.js API routes so we are going to use the Next.js API routes to talk to the external service so there are many different ways when, when you talk about this architecture design there are many considerations so what you can do is uh, most of the application we build with the simple Next Next.js, Next Auth and uh, Auth0 and we don't need these external services we can what we can do is we just write these next JS APIs and those APIs can directly do the insert update delete and all those different operations by accessing the data through the Prisma ORM type ORM or something right Prisma is popular with the next uh, next JS because it gives you the Prisma client that you can use to do the insert update delete or query the database and there is a Prisma schema you are creating so that is a kind of a monolith we end up building because there is a next JS which is rendering the your your front end components the client side components and in the server side API routes you will be doing all the processing and the logic in the same application so either we write a one single monolith I will say monolith because it contains your client side rendered code the components server side components and your API routes and API routes are doing insert update delete using prisma to your database so it's like a once a single application but maybe in future i'm not using next uh, next gs i'm using csr client side rendered framework or maybe a swelte gs or swelte kit or something how should i be able to decouple these things so that's why it's better to create these services as a standalone uh, external services so what i'm doing here is I don't want my next JS APIs to talk to the individual service. That's why I created a simple HTTP proxy. That proxy will just expose a common endpoint and we can just by putting the path route API v1 auth will take you to the auth service. API v1 uh, let's say the course manager will take you to the course manager service. It's like a simple uh, Node.js middleware which is able to rewrite the path based on the path prefix you are adding that we have already used at many places so this is the next JS API that is going to talk to the proxy but we need to have some authentic uh, authentication token that is being that will be provided by the next auth server side session because this is server side API routes in a server side session we have access token that access token we can pass as a authorization header and the same will be forwarded to the target service and that target service will validate the token against Auth0 okay is it valid is it correct not expired everything is good and inside this next uh, Auth token X, sorry Auth0 token we are going to embed it the critical information I mean that we need to deal with the external service like the role like the user ID which is not a secret information I mean we can expose the role we can expose the user ID and based on that user ID and role the authorization authentication logic authorization logic can be placed in the external different different services based on the role based on the user id based on its association we can decide that 
this data needs to be exposed or this data needs to be blocked for that user all those different kind of exceptions we can throw and this next JS APIs will check okay status code is like uh, 401 403 deal it differently okay so that is uh, what we are doing with the with the help of this so this is what the end user will see while accessing the the next JS application okay so maybe you can create a two different application one is the end user application one is the admin dashboard application but here we don't want you to do lots of stuff we will just create a single application and the data we can populate using uh, maybe apis so here uh, next auth session session contains the token and that token when you decode the token that contains the role and that role we are forwarding to the respective service to validate because here in auth0 when you when you do the sign in when you do the sign in we will populate the role but when you do the sign in we will enrich the token with the role so you are either a course creator you are either a guest or you are either a system admin so if you are a creator we will allow you to create a course update a course delete a course manage your courses if you are a guest you can just navigate see the course get the the course details you can search a particular course and if that is a free you can actually access that particular course this is how a simple course creator role will be there when you are populating the information through the auth0 so, you know, so in auth0 we will already have these roles pre-populated and when you are actually returning the token once you do the auth0 sign in that token will already be enriched with the role information so at the end uh, what all things we need to build i don't want to build a different interface we can manage the same thing with the simple next.js application based on the role we because once you uh, initialize the session we will get to know okay what is the role and based on the role we can actually do the internal routing and show the diff two different uh, console two different screens to the end user if it is a course creator he will see the dashboard where you will uh, get a features to upload download update the course if you are a guest your screen will be the default that you are just uh, navigating and surfing or browsing the set of courses and we uh, will be creating all these services together like a course service order service course manager service user preference service that is in the context of udemy but let's say when we are doing a airbnb then then these services will be a little different like property listing services order service payment service booking service all these things will be there okay so uh, let's see about the architecture like what all different complexity we are going to resolve by understanding about it